Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again. And today we're doing Halo Series 6, Flood Stalker. This figure was released in 2009 and retailed for $11.99. This Flood Stalker was McFarlane's second and most likely last Flood figure that they'll ever make due to poor sales. Which is extremely unfortunate because there's so many potential figures still remaining to be made, such as the Tank, Elite, and Brew Combat forms. Even though it may be the last Flood figure ever released, McFarlane definitely went out with a bang, making this figure extremely detailed and chock full of articulation too. The head sculpt is quite a unique one, if you ask me. On both sides, it's a large prong, and in the center is three tentacles, which have red feather-like feelers attached to the tips. The entire figure, including the head, torso, and limbs, is heavily detailed with fine sculpting work, and it's also painted in multiple colors too. Those colors include blacks and grays, with tan lightly dry brushed to the top. There's also pinks and browns, blended into specific parts, such as the arms, the back, and the head. The hands are composed of two pincher-like claws, which allow it to attack and grasp its victims. The back legs, which it mainly uses for its support and mobility, are naturally thicker when compared to the arms. And rather than using the same piece twice, McFarlane actually sculpted both legs uniquely, so they don't look alike. And that also applies to the arms too, which really shows you that McFarlane definitely went out of their way. The feet are made up of four long spiked toes, which are also heavily textured, with a tan dry brushing applied to them. And the back of the stalker has a brain-like look to it, with pinks, browns, and grays mixed in together. Along with a, well, whatever the hell that is, sculpted onto the left side. Weapons and accessories include an incineration metal, which is actually quite fitting for something that deserves to be burned, at least in the game that is. And it does have the Halo 3 logo molded onto the back of it. And the articulation for the Flood Stalker includes a swivel head, ball hinged shoulders, hinged elbows, swivel forearms, hinged wrists, swivel waist, ball hinged hips, hinged knees, ball hinged ankles, and a ball jointed lower abdomen. So for about $12, the Flood Stalker was a great figure in my opinion that just didn't perform that well. The detail and articulation was definitely there, but it didn't appeal to enough collectors. But maybe if it included a harder to find weapon, such as maybe the flamethrower for example, it might have sold better. But today, you can still get them for about the same price, if not less, making it an ideal choice for anyone looking to add more campaign characters to their collection or maybe even horror collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you all in the next one. Subscribe for hundreds of collectible reviews, including Halo and Star Wars, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-date channel news.